What up? Welcome back to uh, Away. This game was interesting enough. I kind of just want to check it out a little bit more. I beat you there, Ma. This tumbling oh, waterfall presents a beautiful but dangerous challenge. Its splashing waters threaten to throw the gliders off course while drenching nearby nooks and crannies in slick liquid. In slick liquid. I'll drench your nearby crannies and slick, slick liquid. Savia Island is home to a wide variety of bioluminescent fungi. These glowing mushrooms, nature's nightlights, help guide the sugar gliders on their way. A complex relationship seems to exist between the gliders and these mushrooms. Sparkling sprouts that provide food, illumination, and perhaps, as has been theorized, something more. Despite these challenges, the young glider pushes upwards towards the open air. Oh no. Well, that sucks. Alright. Come on. God damn it! All right, finally, back to where... Back on Mama's trail. God damn, I fell down there like four times. I was so pissed. It's kind it of hard vital to importance see. that the sugar glider maintain his strength. He'll need every ounce of it need to, to survive what's coming. Address. Oh my god, fucking English, please. I might need to adjust the brightness. Also, I had to yell at my dog. I got a new puppy recently, and she's... She is full of piss and vinegar. She's constantly from one thing to another. Aren't you? No, you Jojo. I named her Jojo after Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. After Jolene Cujo. She my girl. Hmm? This gully is dominated by a skulk of foxes. These skulk ravenous foxes? omnivores would love to have our family of sugar gliders for dinner. The gliders will have to be quick and quiet if they want to avoid being on the menu. Mother has the right idea. Darting quickly from hiding spot to hiding spot right under the foxes. What just happened? Oh, because I took the initiative? They were like, don't do that. Is she gonna go or what? What is happening? Did the game glitch? Okay, there we go. Apparently, I have to wait for her. I'm not allowed to go on my own. Mother has the right idea. Darting quickly from hiding spot to hiding spot right under the fox's noses. It's a risk, but it works.
Though foxes hunt, they are also skilled scavengers, adept at locating and then feeding on the decaying carcasses of other animals. One second. Gotta eat. Hold on, Mama, I'm hungry. All right, I guess. Is this whole game gonna be like me being led by led on like by the hand, or is Over it gonna time, be? time, the dead have become more plentiful than the living, and scavengers have come to dominate the island. But this imbalance cannot last forever. Eventually, food will run out for the scavengers as well. The future of life on Earth depends on whether small mammals like the sugar glider can find a way to rebound. Sweet Jesus. Yeah, because I don't... I mean, eventually the mother has to die or something, right? Like, and you have to go on your own. I don't know what the hell. Oh wait, did she go up the tree? Ah! <laughs> I'm not stupid. A joyous reunion. Together once more, the Sugar Glider family enjoys some much needed rest. The vulture returns. I knew it. Its arrival is sudden, leaving the gliders no time to hide or even react. There is little chance of survival. A sad reality of life on this perilous island. What? What? This young glider is resilient. More resilient than any of us could have expected. But the loss of his mother and sister has affected him deeply. The poor Joey cries out, his unique vocalizations expressing his sorrow, but also sending out a signal to his mother and sister. He is alive and will be coming for them. God damn it. What the hell? Can I grab this? There we go. Alright. Whatever. Where am I going? There's no time to lose. The longer the glider's mother and sister are in the clutches of the vulture, the lower their chances of survival. The Joey bounds forward with a new determination to reunite with his family. Really? A peculiar relationship exists between surviving species like sugar gliders and the fungi native to Savia Island. The fungi seems able to influence these animals in ways researchers have yet to fully comprehend. It's as if an enhanced evolutionary process is at play. Is one that both strengthens these animals physically and heightens their instincts. Researchers have dubbed this phenomenon fungi symbiosis and continue to explore its effects. I guess I'm just following this. This. A whirlpool 
formed when two opposing currents clash. In this case, two low-lying rivers forced together by oh. seismic oh, no. shifts. This watery obstruction. Oh, I'm dead. Don't, don't lay your head down this way. Stop. Stop. What the hell am I supposed to do here? Oh. What? The fuck? I don't understand this. I can't seem to like lock on and jump to that. Which is what the problem is here. Oh, I had it! God damn it! Why did I do that? of amphibians live in these dank caverns, a bona fide feast for our young glider. Are you fucking kidding me? What? Oh, you're lucky, game. Some of the controls here are a little fucking janky, I will say. Mm. I hate this fucking... When your character's on the branch, you should not let go of the branch for any reason. Like, you should be kind of like on a rail here. Cave Explorer, huh? Right. 
What is happening? A scarlet king snake. Oh shit! This species is non-venomous but still dangerous to our Joey. One of its favorite foods are small mammals like sugar gliders. The Joey will have to battle his way past it. Really? See if I can change the settings. I cannot see a fucking thing. Motion blur, depth of field, gamma. What? Oh my god, this is the stupidest fucking... Ah, oh, there we go. Holy god. What? There's a dodge button? Oh yeah, that's right. There was a dodge button. I forgot. God damn it. Ow, ow. Keep dodging the snake until, oh, keep dodging until the snake is stunned. Okay, wrong button. The snake has won this battle. Our Joey's journey is at an end. Oh shit. That's not what I was looking for exactly. Alright, now we get this. Right, let's get him this time. Let's get him. Rematch of the century, baby. Glider is getting weak. Luckily, the forest floor should help him regain his strength. The quick thinking Joey should prowl the woods for food, hoping these morsels will help him to be back on the road to recovery. An impressive victory for our little Joey. Oh, yeah. Can I eat him? Let me eat him. A tremor from the bowels of the earth sends rocks and streams of water pouring into the gulch. This glider must use all his skills to quickly reach the ground level before the rising water does. What the hell? What the fuck?
That was like, what? I was running as fast as I could. A tremor from the bowels of the earth sends rocks and streams of water pouring into the gulch. This glider must use God damn skills man. to quickly reach the ground level. This game is not as intuitive as it should be. For them to be trying to get you to do this kind of stuff. Like seriously. from the bowels of the earth sends rocks and streams of water pouring into the gulch. This glider must use all his skills to quickly reach the ground level before the rising water does. Okay. God damn it, man. Like, how? A tremor from the bowels of the earth sends rocks and streams of water pouring into the gulch. This glider must use all his skills to quickly reach the ground level before the rising water does. First time. Let <laughs> me fucking say any time. Against all odds, the glider has managed to track down his flying nemesis. His mother and sister still dangling helplessly from its talons. Time is of the essence. The glider can only hope that his family lives and that somehow he can find a way to rescue them. Oh, I'll find a way, baby. is growing weak. He'll need food, and soon, if he's to succeed on this quest. What the fuck? Dude, like, I'm, I'm walking onto these things and leaping to them like it tells me to, and then they just don't do it. This game could be so cool if it actually fucking works sometimes.
All right, I ate a fucking frog. How do you like them noise? A submarine? Evidence of human beings, relics like these, of some of our failed attempts at salvation, are scattered across the island. Human beings made countless attempts to maintain a presence on Earth. Sadly, those attempts ended in disaster. The sugar glider appears tiny and fragile next to these remnants of a once advanced and sophisticated civilization. And yet, he has accomplished something in his persistence on Earth that none of us could. Oh my god, I hate the controls of this game too, like squares, the run button. The presence of cobwebs can only mean one thing. This is spider territory, and the glider must be on high alert. God damn, that's a big old spider. A game? Is that a game? You're playing with a real OG. I'm a sugar glider. Sugar glider don't give a fuck. I get the hell out of here. Oh god, that was a big ass spider. I was like, Jesus, that's a huge one. What's happening? This quick darting and oversized tarantula would like to make a meal of our journey. To survive, the glider will have to be quicker still. Okay, I was not expecting that. How fucking big is a sugar glider? That a tarantula was that huge compared to me. These things must be tiny, right? Like, I mean, tiny. Man, I'm a baby, but I wasn't that much smaller this than the. Uh... darting an oversized tarantula would like to make a meal of our Joey. To survive, the glider will have to be quicker still. Arachnids are one of the few creatures able to flourish since the shift. Insect populations have been out of control since many of the species that once fed on them have gone extinct. Spiders have moved in to fill the void. This is epic!
All right. Oh, Jesus! A demonstration of the Sugar Glider's impressive skill. Where am I going? Still going down this way, huh? Vulture stops on an abandoned human edifice. Nature continues to reclaim what relics humans have left behind. Though, curiously, some structures appear Whoa, less dear. vulnerable to nature's encroachment than others. It is almost as if these structures are somehow being maintained. Scale these ruins. How else is he to track the vulture and rescue his family? <laughs> How the hell do I get up there? Dead. Jesus Christ. The controls in this game are terrible, man. Like, I really want to like this fucking game. It's cool. But there's no clear path on where the fuck to go. Like... Thank you. Jesus Christ.
<laughs> that way. Yeah, I get it. How do I get up there, though? Oh. My God. I'm a fucking idiot. I just want to rescue my family. Cicada? Oh yeah. The glider is growing weak. He'll need food, and soon, if he's to succeed on this quest. God damn it! I couldn't slap or anything, dude. Like, I, I don't get it. Sometimes the buttons just don't work. I was trying to fucking hit that guy. That right there. Locked onto this guy? I need to say. Like, there's like a weird delay in the buttons sometimes. Where am I going? Oh, shit. Is that the vulture right there? And dead. Dude, I, I just threw his body, slowing him down and draining his strength. It will take time for him to. There we go. Him. Wait, what?
I thought I made it to where the vulture was. I thought I made it to the vulture. You know what? I'm I'm gonna leave this one here, guys. Is, uh, I'm just a little frustrated with this shit right now. It's not controlling as well as I would like it to. Uh, it's still a pretty cool game. Um, as usual, thanks for coming and hanging out. I will catch you guys in the next one. Probably, probably another episode of this. At least, at least one more. Maybe to get to the family or not. I don't know. Have a good one, guys. Peace out.